We on? We on? Yeah. How are we doing today, guys? Mason here again. We're gonna get a little workout session in. The uh, the other Wait, guys you, that weren't able to make this? it. Do what? How do you crush your leg? Do you how want? do you crush your leg? Oh, uh, like this? <laughs> yeah, like crisscross. <laughs> yeah. You can't cross your leg like that? No. no? <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. Yeah. So we're gonna try to get a little cardio workout in. We're gonna do something kind of similar to um, what Mayer does with us with the circuits. We're gonna do a lot of abs, a lot of uh, like push-up type stuff. Um, I brought a jump rope and we got medicine balls, so we'll do some slams and a um, bunch of different uh, core exercises. Okay. So, all right, so first, I guess we can start Let's just let's just do some uh, just some regular kind of sit-ups to start out, kind of like this. Extend your leg, but they're off the ground. Okay. And then, okay. <laughs> and you alternate them. Bring your feet into your butt, and you balance with your upper body. Very good. And I won't kill you like no, Mayor I'll, I'll does. Try, I'll try yeah. not to die. Yeah, Mayor tries to kill us. I'll try not to pass out. Yeah. <laughs> so that one walks on the car, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're hitting it from a couple different angles. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna grab one of these and do the thing we've been doing. How many are we going, 10 or 20? Yeah, I don't really. <laughs> okay, you just go. Yeah, I okay. just go. I got you. Yeah. I do. I do 15 reps. <sighs> All right. Now let's do some of those uh, some of those power push-ups. Oh, okay. You still remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel it here though. Huh? I feel it here. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's where you want to feel it. <sighs> you do yoga too? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I used to. I used to go to some classes. Does it, does it work? Because I don't understand. Yeah, it, it's mostly say. for your mental. Oh, really? Yeah, it help you focus and takes away stress. Yeah, but it'll get you toned. Okay. Yeah, give you a better connection to your body, you know. Kind of oh. builds that, uh, it's a good way to build a relation, a good relationship with your body. You first I have to, I have to learn how to, to learn how to seat. Yeah. Yeah. Crossed. yeah. Yeah. 
So what do you think about when you do it? Whenever I sit like this? Yeah, what do you think about when you do the yoga? You just sit oh, down? Well, here, a lot of times, I'll kind of stretch my back and stuff, you know? Just putting pressure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll sit and, yeah, we should stretch some too. Get some stretches going. Feel nice and warm, which is good. Yeah, and I'll show you some stretches. Oh, shit. Sure. I can't do my left. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, work on that, you know. You want to be equal on both sides, you know, for your back and all kind of stuff. And do you have any, like, hip? Do your no. hips ever hurt or anything like no. that? No. That's good. So I know some exercises. If you got any kind of back pain and stuff, I know some uh, back exercises that can help. No. Like, if you got um, problems slouching, bad posture, stuff like that. Um, uh, face poles are really good exercise. So when you do it, do you do, okay, you do left, left, right, right, right? Yeah. Okay, I should be able to do it now. Or you can do it the other way too. Which, I can't do that one. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Wow. Good for you either way. So why do you stretch? Um, for me, it kind of helps me relax when I come in. Okay. And I'm getting older. You know, when you're young, it's not really necessary. <laughs> yeah, once you start getting around, you know, 25, you should probably start stretching said, a little bit. Are you 45 or 55? Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just 30. Yeah, yeah I look old you though. Hold. You know, you Yeah. Don't put that on yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> you could be 50 and still mentally young. Right. I know you're just saying it, it's not, you don't really mean it. Here, and uh, another good stretch, I'll show you. You put your leg like this, reach under this leg, and then just lean back. Yeah, and pull that leg towards you. Pull it towards you. See? Okay. It, it stretches the other leg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you feel it? Right here? Yeah. Get your hamstring. Relax. Yeah, it's it makes nice. You relax. Yeah, for real. Uh huh. Cause you know sometimes you never try something you don't you don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and you feel some pain stretching, but it's actually you're you're releasing endorphins in your brain. Your brain. You know. Yeah, just like in yoga, just like you know, uh, doing any kind of exercise. Only when I when I tried milk. Yeah. That's when I get that kind of uh, feeling. Yeah, when you get off, right? Yeah, all those endorphins get released. Yeah, and that's really good because you sweat out a lot of bad stuff when you're running, you know? So that's another side of that. I feel like my body is so steep. Yeah. Yeah, and I like to kind of focus on my breathing too. That's another thing I do. I'll do like deep uh, diaphragm breathing before, uh, usually before I exercise. Because usually when I come in here, like I'm trying to do like upside down push ups a lot of the time, and I run out of energy quick unless I'm getting blood to my, or uh, oxygen to my yeah. blood and my brain and stuff. So I, do a lot of deep diaphragmic breathing and then I'll start doing some upside down push-ups and then I'll go back to just okay. stretching and uh, breathing and go back and forth. That's usually what I do and I just relax. Like I never really burn myself out. I've been trying to work on my cardio lately. 
So but, I've but been yeah, there. Your, your physique is good, though. It looks like you really work out. Right, yeah, yeah. and I don't. Yeah, I, I kind of have a lazy routine, you know. Yeah, I just do a couple exercises and this I work out very efficiently, you know, instead of uh, putting in a lot of hard work. I used to do that. Um, I used to come and just hit one muscle individually, uh, hit one muscle group the whole day, you know, just chest, you know. And I'd be sitting there for four hours just doing chest, you know. Wow. Yeah, just the chest muscle. Wow. So after a while, I figured out some uh, smarter ways of going about it to where I, I usually just do like compound lifts because uh, you're getting your muscles to work together to oh, okay. finish a goal instead of just one muscle getting destroyed, you know. But it's not learning to function with the rest of your muscle, you know. Yeah, to have a relationship with the muscles nearby. So, yeah, so I try when you do yoga, right? Uh -huh. What do you think about? You just well, <clears throat> a lot of I haven't I haven't been to an actual yoga class in a long time. But whenever I sit and I breathe, <clears throat> I'll just focus on my breathing. That's like my yoga, pretty okay. much. I'll sit there and I'll yeah. sit in a st either like a stance like this. I might grab my feet like this, or I might be crisscross and hold here. But either way, I'm gonna try to straighten my back. Okay. Oh, leaning back almost a little bit. And really just focus on pushing the air down. Your diaphragm's down here, and you push the air down. Okay. And you wanna focus on the, the exhales not the inhale and you can kind of you can kind of see that's your diaphragm it's part of your abdominals so you want to push that air down and out because you want to get you want to get new air in but you don't want to focus on breathing with your upper chest okay because okay. up here it's it's cl too close to your heart you okay. know it's a panic breath. You know, you start to take, you know, you're gonna be breathing down here. You know? And then the, the breathing, you'll breathe in on your own. You know, you don't have to focus on that. You wanna focus on the exhales. Okay. Or uh, sometimes like if I'm trying to relax or something, I'll exhale very slowly, you know, like, A little bit. All right, yeah, let's get it. Yeah, and that helps me get oxygen to my brain, to brain. into my blood, all my muscle, you know. You do this every day? Uh, most days, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because like we were saying the other day in that uh, last interview, it's very important, your abdominal muscles and stuff. The older I get, the more I've realized that, you know. You get bigger? Yeah, yeah, I used to, 
I'd work out, you know, chest and back, legs, and then I just completely skip the abs altogether. But that's the most important for being athletic or longevity for your health. Yeah. Prevent injury prevention, you know. All of those things, very important, have strong uh, abdominal muscles. So what next are we doing now? What next? Um, bar. Get that medicine ball. Uh. Actually, grab, grab both of them. Both of them? Uh-oh. All right. So this one. And you grab this one. Shoulder too. Yeah. Good. yeah, we're hitting it from a bunch of different angles, you know, getting our abs to work differently together, you know. Okay. Every time we switch up the way we're doing it, and I've just found some of the most efficient ways of hitting your abdominals, besides like an ab roller okay. or something like that. I really like the ab rollers too. If you want to actually get some mass and strength in your abdominals, doing regular like crunches, what's, you want. What's the best exercise workout for? for the yeah, abs? It's, it's more of a cardio kind of thing. Like you're not gonna, you'll get a flat tummy, but you're not gonna build like actual meaty ab muscles like that doing that exercise. I need this. Yeah, just make you skinny. Yeah. Yeah. But stuff like this, you'll get like those three-dimensional okay. uh, Leonidas abs, you know. <laughs> okay. So when you heat, does it abs? Does it does it disappear or like does it does it have like a little hard? Because when I heat, yeah, 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 yeah. If you're drinking alcohol or uh, not eating clean, you're eating deep-fried stuff. Um, a lot of pasta, processed food, you know. Yeah. You should be eating rice, you know. And that's an argument that people have had in like the nutrition community for a long time. You wanna eat stuff <clears throat> that's clean, you know, as opposed to like dirtier foods. A lot of people disagree with that, but it's true, you know, like if you eat a raw uh, fruit, that sugar is gonna be different than if you just ate a candy bar, you know? <laughs> a lot different. Yeah, your body can feel the difference, you know? So it don't matter what anyone says, if you eat it and you feel the difference, then you know, you know? That's it. Yeah, you can see uh, firsthand, you know, it's like medicine, you yeah. know? All right, let's, uh, let's get another one of those. Well, this one, let's twist. We're gonna okay. twist at the end like we're throwing a hook. So we're gonna come down, Okay. This is a little movement at the very end. Okay. In your center of gravity, here's my center of gravity. When I'm throwing that hook, I'm slightly rotated around. Okay. And I come across like that. Like you're throwing a hook? When it come up, okay. other way like that. You see? Okay. So my center of gravity is right off, and I'm coming up around. <sighs>
Feels good, right? Yeah. <laughs> right here. Wow. All right. I'm gonna do a little jump rope. Do you bring your jumping rope or they have it here? Yeah, I brought my own. All the ones that were up there got lost. So, yeah, I had to. You gonna do jumping jacks? Yeah. <laughs> Do you do that too? Oh, okay. Professional tattoo? Huh? Professional? <laughs> so that when you want to get a job? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to see it, okay. Yeah. Um, so now, let's go back to this. Dumbbell? Yep. <laughs> 